All right, YouTube, I'm gonna show you the proper way to wire one of these up. If you are using a fuse box, there is not any real specific information online about how these things are supposed to go in if you want to use a fuse that's powered. So I had to figure it out myself. And I don't want anyone else to have to do that, so this is how you do it. The original wiring harness is set up so that you can run one of these switch panels without any fuses. Um, I don't know what the point of that is. Maybe if you're not using a powered fuse bar, but I am. Alright, so without pulling <clears throat> all of this apart. Alright, so you can see the original wiring came in like this, 1, 1, 2, and then I left the grounds all connected together still, because they're all still going to head back to ground. And then the only thing that I ended up changing, if you can see, I'll give you a side shot here. So these are five pin rocker switches. You've got two grounds and then three positive leads. So what's really going on here, this ground and this positive are for the lower light on these that is always on. Um, so I left those connected up straight into the battery. So there's just a jumper from here to the next one to the next one. Just like the grounds are jumping from each one to the next one. And then originally I believe they had their set up where the, this top plug-in was the same all the way across as well. I don't know why my phone keeps going out of focus here. Um, and then they left the bottom pin open for you. Um, whenever you flip the switch up, it turns on the top, the <clears throat> excuse me, the upper light, and uh, closes these two together. So the middle pin there and the lower pin on the inside left uh, connect. So what you want to do is you want to run. From here, this is a powered bus bar, so we've got our positives right there, and the negatives are going to be down here. The positive one comes out of here, it comes up to the rocker switch, and plugs into that center post, and that's going to provide it with power for this switch. And then, after that, you want to take that one, the lower one that was open on the one when you purchased this unit, it was pre-wired, that bottom leg was open on the left. That one will wire to the positive end of whatever you want to power. So like I got some uh, some lights there that are being powered. I got my nav lights all around the light. All going into each one of these lower left hand legs. Not the one I'm touching, but the one next to it on the inside there. Um, and you just want to do that for all the switches. In this switch, I actually have powering all three of these units. I don't want them on all the time. I'll have a switch to turn that on so you can see that actually happening there. You can see my bottom left-hand leg coming up here, going right into the power for all of these. Um, so yeah, guys, that's how that's going to wire up. The main power for this unit I have coming in on this leg right here, this main power leg. And then the end ground is coming out on this side. So that's going to be the change up in the wiring here if you actually want to use a bus bar. Um, a fuse box, excuse me. Alright guys, thanks for watching.